Minister Vieira, dear Mauro, once again, welcome to Jakarta. It is an honor for me to receive your visit to Indonesia. This visit is not only very important for our bilateral relations as we celebrate the 70th anniversary of diplomatic relation, but also very important for the relation between Brazil and ASEAN. Colleagues from the media, let me begin how Indonesia sees the bilateral relation with Brazil. Indonesia and Brazil are two big emerging economies from the Global South and member of the G20. Collaboration between our two countries will contribute a lot in this very uncertain world to shape international agenda and to bring the voices and the interests of the Global South. Brazil is Indonesia's largest trading partner and the largest Latin American investors in Indonesia. The signing of the Plan of Action for 2023-2026 will facilitate two countries to move forward in more certain ways, including strengthening new cooperation such as digital and health cooperation. I welcome the growing trade between the two countries, and I also underline the importance to have a more balanced trade. To strengthen economic cooperation, I suggested during the meeting that first, it is very important to start negotiation of Indonesia-Mercosur Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. Trade barriers should be abolished. Second, encourage Brazil to invest on cattle breeding in Indonesia. Third, request Brazil to open access for Indonesia seafood products. Four, develop a joint vaccine production for food and moth diseases. Fifth, encourage cooperation on renewable energy, including development of ethanol and sugarcane plantation, as well as R&D collaboration in scaling up biofuel production. Six, encourage cooperation on science and technology innovation particularly to support food and energy security. I would like to underline that energy and food security should be the priorities of the bilateral relation. On top of that, cooperation on forest issue should also be the priority of the two countries. Indonesia and Brazil are amongst countries with huge areas of forest. On ASEAN, after the bilateral meeting, we also had a trilateral meeting with the Secretary General of ASEAN. This is an important step forward to further strengthen sectoral cooperation between ASEAN and Brazil. Indonesia also hopes to forge closer collaboration with Brazil in various ASEAN sectoral cooperation activities, including on ensuring food and energy securities and promoting sustainable development in the region. To, con to conclude, next year, Brazil will preside the G20, and Indonesia fully support Brazil, Brazilian presidency in the G20. I underline the importance to keep momentum going and amplifying the voices of the Global South. If developing countries like us work together, we can be the positive force that drives transformative changes. I'm sure Brazil's G20 presidency will continue to support agendas that promote stability, solidarity, and equality in the global orders. Colleagues, to end, let me quote the famous author from Brazil, Paulo Coelho. When we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. So I'm confident with both Indonesia and Brazil's strong commitment, we will take our relation into even greater hate in the coming years. Mauro, now I would like to invite you to deliver your remarks, statement, and views. Please, Mauro. Thank you very much, uh, Minister Masuti, Marsuti, and my dear friend, Retno. 
Uh, I'd like first to thank you for inviting me for this meeting today and for the hospitality extended to me and to my delegation. We had a very intense and very good program this morning at the, at the, the meeting with Minister uh, Marsudi. We discussed the state of our bilateral relations especially our strategic partnership that dates back from 2008 and is the only uh, one Brazil maintains in Southeast Asia. We decided to relaunch our strategic partnership by adopting a plan of action to be implemented along the next three years. A new plan of action will guide our bilateral cooperation in areas such as trade and investment, renewable energy, sustainable development, health, science, technology, and innovation. And as Minister Masoudi mentioned, it uh, will especially uh, give more room and more space for a more uh, balanced bilateral trade. In the field of bioenergy cooperation, I had the honor to take part at the opening session of seminar Ethanol Talks Sustainable Mobility earlier this morning organized by the Brazilian private sector. And I had the pleasure to co-chair the opening session with the Minister of Energy of Indonesia. I am glad the event attracted the interest of the Indonesian authorities, policy makers, industry representatives and specialists. It's a sign of our commitment to cooperating with Indonesia in energy transition, taking advantage of our long experience in the use of biofuels in Brazil. Foreign Minister Marsudi and I went through the state of our bilateral trade and the flow of investments between our countries. I highlighted the Brazilian interest in supporting food security in Indonesia as a reliable supplier of food stocks. I highlighted the potential Brazil offers to extend exports of meat to uh, Indonesia. I am sure our countries will benefit from an enlarged cooperation in the area of defense. We agreed that the first Brazil-Indonesia pol political military dialogue will be held next year in Brasilia. We also agreed that science, technology and innovation should be at the center stage in our bilateral relations. We need to work together to determine the best areas and ways to cooperate. Both countries may surely believe, be, benefit from each other's knowledge and expertise in many scientific and technological domains. As Indonesia builds its new capital, Nusantara, I express Brazil's readiness to cooperate by sharing our experience in the construction of Brasilia and the relocation of our capital from Rio de Janeiro to Brasilia in 1960. We agreed that the Global South should work closer to bring their interests and needs to the heart of international agenda. In this sense, Brazil has set three priorities for our G20 presidency next year social inclusion and the fight against hunger and, hunger and inequality, sustainable development, and the reform of global governance institutions. I commend the active leadership played by Indonesia in the G20 presidency in 2022. Brazil will start its presidency soon. We, will sh we wish to build upon the extraordinary work done by our friends in Indonesia in 2020 and India in 2023. We value our joint work with Indonesia and the Democratic Republic of Congo in our trilateral alliance on tropical forests and climate action. Our countries have a leading voice on the topic as partners in the interest of environmental preservation in facing the climate crisis. This morning, under the presidency of Indonesia, Brazil also held its first trilateral dialogue with ASEAN, 
with the presence of Foreign Minister Ratno Masude and Secretary General of ASEAN, Dr. Kao. Brazil is very much looking forward to for de de deepening cooperation with ASEAN in light of the sectoral dialogue partnership recently established. We are aware of the economic advancements of Southeast Asia in the last decades. Brazil is ready to strengthen its relations and to foster cooperation with the region and with each of its member states. To conclude, I also exchanged views with Minister Marsuti uh, on current world affairs and the developments in Israel and Palestine. I reiterated Brazil's condemnation of the attacks against Israel, its condolences to the victims. All parties should immediately stop the violence and exercise maximum restraint in order to avoid further escalating the situation. Under the Brazilian presidency of the United Nations Security Council, this month of October, we will redouble multilateral efforts to contain the spirals of violence and unblock the peace process. The cur current dynamics between Israel and Palestine are unsustainable and a solution is needed to the situation. With Palestine and Israel living together in peace and security within mutually agreed and internationally recognized borders. Thank you. Thank you, thank you ver uh, very much, Minister Vieira. Thank you, Mauro. Terima kasih, teman-teman uh, semuanya. Terima kasih.